Hello, uh, here is my unboxing of my Prince Sign of the Times. What does it say? Remastered for the first time, 8 CD set plus DVD. Ooh. It includes CDs 1 and 2 of Sign of the Times, remastered for the very first time. CD 3 is a remastered singles, mixes, and edits. CD 4 through 6 are tracks from Prince's Vault previously unreleased cd7 and 8 is him live in <laughs> i don't know what that is utrek utrek i have never heard of that place but wherever that is he was live there uh july 20th 1987 then him live at paisley park in 1987 and that's a dvd Cats and so on and so on blah 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 okay let's open this mofo up <clears throat> oh and i'm Doing this with my friend, Baby Yoda, in the house. So here we go. Let's see. By the way, I ordered this from Amazon. It's cheaper on Amazon than it is on the Prince whatever website. I think it's like 130 on Amazon. On the Prince website, it's like one, I don't know, it's a lot more, whatever it is, which I was not going to pay. So, all right, I'll take that off later. So we have the nice cover here. It's kind of a three-dimensional overlay we got going on there. And on the back is the traditional, pretty much the, the uh, traditional photo that we've all known and loved for many years. And you take this out. And da-da-da-da, -da -da -da, print sign of the times, or sign of the times, however you want to say it. And on the back is a very nice picture. My guess is this was probably an alternate photo, cover photo that they didn't use. So it's, he's in kind of a turquoise there. Very nice, very, very nice. And actually this is the front, sorry. And I'm a bit of a nerd and a collector, so I saved the the uh, plastic wrap here for it. And this is the uh, the inset or the little, I don't know what you would call this, but this came with it. Has the, all of the, um, all the songs and all the, on, on all the CD. So on the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go page by page. A most unique tapestry. The last sane man on earth. I'm going to remove that for now. The last sane man on earth. A conversation, a conversation with Dave Ch Chappelle. And he talks about his friendship and with Prince and uh, some of his experiences with, with Prince. When I left Ch Chappelle's show, not only was Prince the only person I could relate to, he was one of the few people who truly cared about what was happening in my life, says Dave Chappelle. That's very nice. I guess they were very close friends, or at least semi-close friends. Everybody still wants to fly. In 1987, 1987 needed Prince like a mother, says Daphne A. Brooks. Who in, in this house knows know about the quake? At the end of 1985, Prince's career seemed unshakable. Is the first sentence. It's a nice photo. With his sunglasses. Oh, I was just thinking about this song earlier today, The Ballad of Dorothy Parker. It's a really pretty song. In the spring of 1986, Prince was dominating pop culture. I would agree with that. He was the man in the 80s and early 90s.
They talk about the the revolution breaking up. Uh, the relationship between Prince and Warner Brothers, his his label. In addition to finalizing the the track listing and sequencing and sequencing of Sign of the Times. The cover photo, kind of a Sgt. Pepper Beatles look and feel there, inspired by the Beatles. And here's his new band after the revolution, kind of the pre-New Power generation. I, I know a few of these people, Eric Leeds, obviously Sheila E, Bobby Z, Revolution Leftover. Levi Sakir, Sakir, Sakar. I'm not sorry. I'm not really sure how you pronounce his name. Cat, who I read and separately from this book, was uh, she regretted leaving uh, Prince and his entourage, but she got some bad information from someone in her camp that led her to leave, and she later regretted it, like many of. People in Prince's entourage after leaving him later regretted leaving. The images, a bunch of really nice photos. These are these remind me of the, the glasses he wore in uh, Purple Rain. When doves cry. Some of these photos, um, different versions of these photos, but obviously in this photo shoot were on the uh, inside of the um, of the original Sign of the Times album. He clearly really liked yellow. <laughs> he was going through a yellow phase. And a turquoise phase, if that's turquoise. Kind of see some close ups here. Eric from Clockwise from Left, Eric Leeds, Atlanta Bliss, Wally Safford, Sheila E., Greg Brooks, Matt Fink. Uh, Levi's Sakir Jr., Bonnie Boyer, Miko Weaver, and Cat Glover. Yes, I said that was Bobby Z. I'm sorry, I apologize. That was not Bobby Z. That's Matt Fink. Bobby Z was was the drummer, and he was gone by then. But Matt Fink, the keyboard player, was still there. So my mistake. With Cat and Sheila E. Back then, I had a pretty sizable crush on both of them. I was in high school when this album came out. But I thought Shelly was just so pretty and Kat was so pretty. There's some nice photos of them together. Shelly. Sheila Escobedo and Cat Glover, who last I heard was living in Europe somewhere, but I don't know if she's still there. That was other, quite a while ago I, I heard she was living in Europe. Not heard, but read somewhere. Some concert photos. A lot of concert photos. This is looks like the photo from a photo from his um I could never take take the place of your man video, which is of course was taken from the Sign of the Times movie, but in the video he's wearing that. Those same clothes. A lot of photos, a lot of really great photos. I had the pleasure of seeing him in concert 
for the Purple Rain Tour. It was soon after he won the Oscar for Best uh, Original Soundtrack or something like that. So he actually brought the Oscar to the to the show. That was pretty cool. I was way up in nosebleed sections, but I still had a great time. Tonight, we're going to lose our sorrow. Tonight, we're going to have some fun. Those electric purple clouds that precede rain hadn't ionized the studio atmosphere in a long time. That's a nice photo. The lyrics. Wow, this is really cool. They actually have his handwritten lyrics in here. Eden Prairie, Minnesota. With the lyrics for the Ballad of Dorothy Parker. Ballad of Dorothy Parker. I mean, this is this is really, really great. They actually have the handwritten lyrics. You got the look. I guess at that time it was just called the look, but I guess he changed it later to you got the look. I mean, how great is this to even have these? The lyrics for Slow Love. The lyrics for All Right. Which, I want to do it, baby, all the, all the, what did I say? I want to do it, baby, all, because when we, then it kind of goes out from there. Hot thing. Starfish and Coffee, which is one of the better, in my opinion, one of the better songs on the album. It's a really cool song. Shockadelica, which was the B-side to, what was Shockadelica the B-side to? I'm drawing a blank. Uh, I think, what was the B-side to? Shockadelica. I believe it was the B-side to If I Was Your Girlfriend. I think that was the B-side to that, but I could be wrong. That was actually a response to Jesse. I read some time ago that that was actually a response to Jesse Johnson. Uh, his, he named one of his albums Shockadelica, but Prince thought it was odd that he didn't have a song called Shockadelica on the album, but he really liked the name of, he, he really liked that title. So I guess to kind of, I don't know, <laughs> to kind of poke at Jesse Johnson a little bit, he he took the name of, of his album and made it actually made a song out of it, which I thought was you know it's a really good song, Shaka Delica. I'm sure we all know it. Uh, what is this? I can't read that. It's hard to read the lyrics to that. I think it might have been Adore, but I could be wrong. Oh, crystal ball. Cause remember, sign of the times was was um was kind of a um a leftover from the, the from the never released crystal ball album. It was like another version of the crystal ball album that never made it out. He was going through a phase there where he was doing a lot of writing and almost he almost put out the black album. He almost put out the crystal ball album and all of those kind of turned. And I believe there was one other one that he almost put out. Um, I think maybe the Dream Factory. I'm not sure. But they all eventually got sized down or cut down to Sign of the Times. I don't have time to go through all of these, but these are all of his lyrics are in here. So this is really good. Oh, Big Tall Wall. These are all... At the, at the time, they were all unreleased. Now you can get them now. Love and Sex. Really cool. Handwritten. I mean, Prince wrote this. This is his, his handwriting. 
And if you look at it, he, some of it is in print and some of it is in cursive. So I guess it all depends on what his, he was feeling for that, for that moment. Interesting that he would write in print and, and cursive. Then you got the music. This is the, uh, the photo I believe is in the uh, Sign of the Times, the original Sign of the Times um, album sleeve. All of the singles, the, all the covers we all know. Got the original remastered album, the singles, mixes, and edits. Oh, the master tape, master side, because of course Prince owned his, all of his own masters. Paisley Park, Camille, Camille, which was his alter, one of his many alternate names, alter egos. And notes from all of his, from the songs, where they were recorded, who played on them. All the recorded liner notes. Witness for the prosecution. Crystal ball. So yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna read through all of this at some point. I don't know when. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I'm gonna read through all of this at at some point. There's something I like about being your fool. That title almost makes me think of a. Uh, uh, if I was your girlfriend, the title's kind of in my mind anyway. They're kind of similar. Concert photos and the, the live CD, and from the recorded in the Netherlands, the DVD, the songs from the DVD. That's what we call a close-up photo. <laughs> a classic photo of Prince just pondering. And here are the actual CDs and DVDs. This is the original, uh, not open up, okay. And all the CDs and DVDs right here, there are eight of them. And that's it. That's my Prince on at a Times un unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I bought this from Amazon. It was a little bit cheaper than buying it from the Prince website. But you can buy it wherever you can find it. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed. May you live to see the dawn. <laughs> that was super corny. All right, bye.